Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and today I'm going to be talking about the texture packs and skin packs that were confirmed for Minecraft PS Vita with the trailer that came out a few days ago. You might have noticed I covered that first on my channel, and I also did a breakdown of it if you want to see all the other stuff, like the network options. But today we're going to be talking about the texture packs and the skin packs that we now have confirmed for Minecraft PS Vita, because that's a big part of why some people play the game, and knowing all the exact ones that are going to be in there is pretty big for them. So, we're going to start with the texture packs, because they're the easiest ones. There's five of them, and it's based about ten seconds in the trailer, so we're going to super slow it down, we're going to talk about each one individually. So, first of all, in the jungle, you'll notice uh, this texture pack is the Fancy texture pack. The Fancy texture pack is my personal favourite, and it's a really nice texture pack. I imagine it could really, you know, up the kind of quality on the PS Vita and make it look a little bit better. Uh, so, if you want to play a kind of different looking game, you think Minecraft graphics don't suit that sort of thing, I think the Fancy texture pack is a great choice uh, right there. Then uh, moving on from this one, uh, you go straight into the plastic texture pack. Uh, and this is one I don't personally recommend because the cartoon texture pack is also available. But it's nice to have the choice there because this texture pack is, you know, it's it's really low-res kind of version. It might kind of bring out the low-res, uh, you know, flaws in uh, Minecraft PS Vita already. It's it's hard to say without seeing it on the PS Vita screen. But right now, it, uh, the option that's there is still pretty cool. So that's the second texture pack. Uh, third of all, we have the Candyland texture pack. This one's a wild one. It makes everything look like candy. Some builds look really weird and it, you know, it's not really recommended on current worlds, but it's a nice change for Minecraft, it's a wacky texture pack, and that's really great. Uh, and then next up, we've got the natural texture pack. So, this texture pack is uh, kind of like the fancy texture pack, but with a slightly more natural feel to it, if, if you could guess that from the title. Uh, and then finally, the fifth texture pack we've got confirmed is one that's not actually on Minecraft PS3 yet, which is interesting, because the two games link very closely, and you can actually play on worlds across both of them. Uh, but yeah, so this is um, the fifth uh, texture pack, it's the cartoon texture pack. So, the cartoon texture pack is a really great kind of, uh, you know, I guess cartoony uh, kind of texture pack. It's uh, high resolution. It looks really nice in a whole bunch of scenarios. Uh, the only, you know, complaint I have is that all the swords and stuff, like you'll notice right now, his shovel is a golf club. It's hard to tell them apart, but once you learn, it's a great texture pack, and it's really amazing for that. So that's the cartoon texture pack confirmed for PS Vita. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be coming out on PS3 at the same time, because, you know, if one of them has a texture pack, the other one doesn't, it's weird. But it looks like this will be a launch texture pack, so that's fine five launch texture packs, that's all of them besides the city texture pack, the Halloween texture pack, and all of the mashup packs, which are currently Xbox 60 exclusive. Uh, I think it's weird that the city texture pack's not on there, I think there's a chance the city texture pack is in the game, just not in the, you know, the trailer for some reason, uh, but that's, you know, just what I'm saying. So we have five texture packs confirmed, a possible sixth texture pack, I wouldn't imagine any of the mashup packs or the uh, Halloween texture pack will be on there, but that's, yeah, five or six texture packs, that's a really nice number to start with, uh, and you can buy those from the PS Vita store, or you can probably transfer them over from your PS3. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll make money because you buy the DLC twice. I'm not sure their aim is there. Uh, but next up, let's talk about the skin packs. So, uh, yeah, I already confirmed this is my trailer breakdown of uh, the texture packs, but I haven't talked about the skin packs because uh, if you look, there's a whole bunch of skins in the trailer, and uh, if you look at, you know, each one of them, uh, you can actually see that there are three uh, texture uh, skin packs confirmed, and uh, it's interesting, uh, you know, enough the three ones. So if you want to have a specific skin in the Minecraft PS Vita, First of all, uh, you'll notice from this screenshot that there is a king and a castaway, as well as a couple other skins that it's hard to you know make up out because they're make, make wearing armor. Uh, but the skin on the left is the king skin or uh, Boltz's skin if you're uh, so inclined. And uh, this skin is a you know in skin pack one for Xbox 60. I think it's also on the PS3 skin pack one. Uh, so skin pack one is confirmed because uh, obviously if it has one of the skins, it's going to have all the skins. Unless it's this weird PS Vita skin pack, but it's probably just going to be the you know console skin packs. Uh, next up, you see that the castaway is in there. And that is from Skin Pack 3, so that means uh, that's two Skin Packs confirmed already. Skin Pack 1 and Skin Pack 3. And of course, they're not just going to jump from uh, 1 to 3. There's Skin Pack 2 confirmed too, because in this screenshot just here, you can see uh, one of the Castle Crashers building the PS Vita, which is odd. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the Castle Crashers are all in Skin Pack 2. And uh, obviously, you see two of them in the trailer without, you know, one of them. Uh, sorry, without, yeah, all of them. There's not going to be one of them. Uh, so all of Skin Pack 2 is therefore confirmed. So that's three Skin Packs we know so far. Uh, I'd imagine they're going to slowly add more to it as it goes on. But even if there is just the three we know so far, it's still a pretty cool thing. So with five texture packs confirmed and three skin packs confirmed already just from the trailer, it looks like Minecraft PS Vita really isn't going to draw the short straw as far as DLC is concerned. And that's a good thing. It's nice to see, you know, a, con a version of the console version not being neglected. If you like this video, please do like it. Let me know. Later on today, I have a pixel art story you might want to check out. Uh, it's going to be a pretty long video. This is just kind of like a letting you know about the PS Vita thing. Uh, like it if you liked it. Share it if you really liked it. Thanks for watching, and here is an outro.